beautiful hello beautiful gemini this is your love story reading for the first half of august hope you are amazing hello i'm amber if you're new if you're returning thank you for returning so this is going to be the love energy for the first half of august this is a general reading if it doesn't resonate with you that's okay check your venus sign if you need a private reading i'll be more than happy to do that for you links in the description box below or you can go to the website up above also um i am on social media instagram and facebook to be exact and um, there you can find pick a cards um, weekly readings etc also i'm giving away something every month this year so check that out super easy to win enter super easy to win um, also on patreon you can get uh, full transit readings the extended readings for the readings that have them and you can get all these general readings two weeks early so gemini we have finances and career you deserve love and very soon hmm i feel like as far as investing in love i don't see anything for you gemini yeah you're more balancing yourself, your career, your finances, whatever it is, is going on in your life. Um, I feel like when it comes to love, you would like to have love, you know, but this is like, you hate that it's an, on divine timing, but at this point, you know that it is. There's nothing much you can do. There's nothing, like, nothing more you can put your hand in at this point. I feel like this is more of a go with the flow thing, but know that you do deserve the best when it comes to love. Whoever it is that you're dealing with, they're not making the right moves with you, you know. Um, I feel like they're they're not motivated. They're not pushing. They're not doing what they're supposed to do. If you're still talking to this person, to be honest, Gemini, I feel like they're just doing the motions, if anything, at this point. Um, you're probably just in contact with them or whatever. And I say whatever because I feel like it's whatever. Um, I don't feel like they're doing anything extra, honestly. And you're, mo you're focused mostly on your career at this point. You know? Okay. So let's see what's happening in the past that led you here. We have the Two of Pentacles. The Three of Wands. And the Seven of Wands. Okay. Um, you definitely try to balance this thing out. You know, I feel like you had a come to Jesus moment when it came to your love and your life and how it was working to be cohesive and how it wasn't, you know, this is like you, you definitely waited on this person to make some changes, especially when they promised that they were going to make them. They promised that they were going to do things differently. They promised that they were going to be differently or be different, you know, um, and you waited, but I feel like. You had to eventually stand up for what it is that you believed in. So this is you taking a step out at this point, you know. It's not about doing it for this person. It's not about focusing on them right now as, mo as much as it's about focusing on you, okay. Yeah, you definitely weren't getting what you deserved. Uh, I feel like you had, a, you know, you realized that emotionally it wasn't fulfilling. This person is like, I want to say a one-trick pony at the point where they give you they've they are giving you what they can give you there's not much more coming from it even though you desire more and you were waiting on that more and i feel like they weren't delivering it so it's like you had to come to that realization on your own and uh, you know um you took a risky move as far as standing up for yourself and i feel like it was it was hard to do or hard to cut this person off you know so we have the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Chalices, Justice, and the Death. Wow. Okay. And then we have the Seven of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Strength. Mmm. So it's going to be hard for you to stand up to this person. It's going to be hard for you to deal with your thoughts and feelings about them. You know, but you're pretty happy and established where you are. I feel like you like the way things are. And the reason why is because you struggle to get balance. And, you know, you're do you're trying to do what is right. 
So you're in the energy of doing what's right for you, for the situation, for your energy, okay? And as hard as it may be to end things completely, I feel like that's where you're going. Because you feel as though there's a promise and you're believing in this promise of something being better in the future. And this not being everything and all for you, Gemini, okay? So I do feel like you still care about this person. And I feel like they are doing things to care about you as well, you know? Um, and I feel it's so interesting because I feel like as long as they do it, it's fine, you know? But when they're not doing it, that's when you are going to step up and stand up for yourself. So I feel like you're okay. I also feel like you're focusing on your life, your career, and keeping that established. Because that's where you're finding your balance at this point. It's within you. And not within someone else. Which is actually very good. There is a promise of something coming better for you. Gemini, as long as you care about yourself, as long as you nurture yourself, and as long as you're caring to others as well, I feel like there there's a sense of care or love you have to give to this person. Not relationship-wise, but, you know, as a human being, as a, as a being of the universe, you know, as another person. So, I feel like this person knows that you can see through them at this point, right? Um, they really were piggybacking off of your feelings for them in the past. So they expected things to be the same. And as soon as you started to change, you changed as far as being established and not feeling like you quote unquote need this person. Okay. So you are open to a give and take type of nurturing situation if that's what they're going to do. But if not, then not, you know, um, and they are hoping that you will still fall for and do all the things that you've done in the past. And this is their ego, you know. They feel like they can say or do whatever they, they're going to do and you're going to be okay with it. But I feel like they're going to soon see the truth of that, you know. Because I feel like they think that they can tame you um, because I feel like they think that you're going to fall into their trap. So they're not very clear-headed about what they want here, okay? Yeah, you're definitely in control and you're looking at what is being presented to you, Gemini. And you're not going to take, you're not going to make hopes and wishes for things that are not there at this point. You're keeping this situation as logical and as balanced as possible. It definitely isn't any clarity. There definitely is chaos. There definitely is lack of truth as far as, yeah, as far as making certain choices that you would like them to make. So I feel like you have had to make these choices for yourself. And you're taking the risk to do what is right. And as hard as it may be, you know, you know that if you have to end this, you'll end it. I feel like eventually you will end it. Um, but a new beginning is coming after that. Yeah, this is you li listening to your intuition, your higher self. You know that there's more for you than this. You've been extremely patient with this person. And I feel like you still um, have a little bit of care and love for them. I feel like they do come in towards you for balance. And you reciprocate in a caring, friendly, motherly, nurturing type of way. But it's not going to be a love type of way, okay? Even if they try to direct you or push you in that direction, I feel like you're creating the situation that you want. I feel like with the sun card, you are aware, Gemini, of what it is that you want to attain. And that's what you are trying to create in your life, whether this be career or love, okay? So this person sees that things are not the same, that you're... that that things are not going to be the same. You're not going to just be in a relationship with this person if they're not doing what you say you need, okay, or what they say that they're going to do. They feel like, they felt like they had some sort of conversation with you um, or there was some sort of fight and they feel like they cleared it up. But what they realize is that they didn't, you know. Um, it's like, they feel like you, that 
they are your dream come true so you're going to put up with whatever you need to to deal with this person but that's not true um i feel like they're not thinking clearly this was their chance to redefine their actions to do things differently but they're still going back to the old habits and old ways with the devil card okay they can't get past that you know it, it's like in their mind that is what's working they, they just are too impulsive. They're only thinking in their own mind, in their own feelings. They're not thinking um, about the relationship in general. See, there needs to be some sort of decision. Okay. But instead, they're deciding to just kind of stand in the middle. Stand in the middle and hope that you'll just meet them wherever <laughs> they want you to. Okay. So this person is not going to be in for you. I just don't feel that. I feel like this is going to end up in a breakup, a split up completely. Um, especially with this death card, I feel like you're okay. You know, your intuition has prepared you for this. And you're ready to take a risk into something different. And that's that's okay for you. Okay? So this person's ego is causing them not to work on this relationship. You know? They've convinced themselves that they're happy the way that their life is. Yeah, they're not seeing that... You know, there's two sides to a relationship and there needs to be balancing and there needs to be prioritizing. They're not seeing that. All they're seeing is that this is too much work and they're not they're not trying to put into that in that kind of work. They feel like love should be easy and flow and what that's translating as it should go the way I want it to. Okay. So Gemini, let's get a sneak peek into your mid August. We have the Queen of Pentacles the Ace of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. You're definitely focusing on yourself, your career. You're definitely nurturing yourself and how you want your future to look and how you want to look. Okay, this could be a lot of you um, starting a new beauty regimen or a new style change or changing your hair, anything of that nature, okay? But I feel like you want to look the part that you want to be. So if you want to be successful in your career, if you want to be um, attracting different things into your life, you are now becoming that. Especially with the magician, because this is what it start. This is where it starts. You are becoming what it is that you want to see, and because of that, things start moving in your favor. Okay. Yeah, definitely taking control over your life where you were kind of uh, materialistically dealing with this person superficially and you want more than that. You're realizing that you weren't focusing on a new beginning or being practical in your life and that's what's changing. So because you're nurturing yourself, now things are happening and doors are opening up for you, okay? So let's end this reading with an oracle card, Gemini. Oh, maybe not, okay. It went back in the deck. We have total submersion. Don't be afraid to totally immerse yourself in a project, interest, or goal. Give it 100% of your energy and you will find that your what your life has been lacking. Yeah. So I feel like you focused a lot on this person and now you're pulling that energy away. You know, it's kind of like you touch the surface on doing something else, like focusing on a career or a project or um, changing your life in some way, moving, going back to school, whatever that is. And now you're totally jumping into it. I feel like that's really going to help you get rid of this energy from this person because you're starting to realize that they're not going to change. And you kind of need a change of scenery. You need to balance out your life, get a higher perspective, you know? Okay. But I feel like love is not, it's not really on the back burner. You're open to it, but it has to be presented to you in a way that looks like it's worth your time. Okay. So thank you, Gemini. I love you, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.